In this 1995 episode of The Simpsons, Homer walks with Marge through downtown Springfield and says, Whoa, careful now. These are dangerous streets for us upper lower middle class types. This is Homer's first real admission to being middle class. For the rest of us, this always seemed pretty obvious. He lives in a modest home in the suburbs with his wife and three children. He's not a college graduate and his job appears to require a minimal amount of technical training. This is all confirmed when we get a very tight shot of his paycheck in season seven. Hey, how come my pay is so low? According to the stub, Homer's pre-tax weekly pay of $479.60 works out to $11.99 an hour. So he's looking at an annual salary of $24,395. Adjusted for inflation, that's $37,416 per year. What? This is an outrage! There are a lot of fans who think the show is based on the real town of Springfield, Oregon. And if we look at Homer's salary there, it places him pretty comfortably in the lower middle class income bracket. Of course, this is all based on one job as a safety inspector at the Springfield Nuclear Power Plant. But Homer has had over 191 jobs in 27 seasons, and they've placed him across the entire economic spectrum. You know, I've had a lot of jobs. Boxer, mascot, astronaut, imitation crusty, baby proofer, trucker, hippie, plow driver, food critic, conceptual artist, grease salesman, carny, mayor, grifter, bodyguard for the mayor, country western manager, garbage commissioner, mountain climber, farmer, inventor, smithers, poochie, celebrity assistant, power plant worker, fortune cookie writer, beer baron, quickie mark clerk, homophobe, and missionary. But protecting Springfield... That gives me the best feeling of all. Some of these jobs were literally impossible to determine salaries for, like beer smuggler or the Grim Reaper. There were also some seasonal jobs, mall Santa, and those had to be excluded too. In the end, I narrowed Homer's resume down to 100 jobs, and then I looked at the average salary for each one. Here's what we found. Three of Homer's 10 highest paying jobs have been at the power plant. In season 13, he tried his hand as the plant's executive VP before momentarily taking over Mr. Burns' post as CEO the following season. Dad, please, you're the head of a major corporation. You're right. Three years later, he served as the facilities manager. Uh, um, uh, uh... Around half of Homer's jobs place him in the middle class. And his least lucrative jobs were pretty odd. He was a mascot, a carny, a moonshine taste tester, a cannonball performance artist, and a walking billboard. Oh, what are those doing there? Earning us a hundred bucks a week, that's what. I plotted out Homer's hypothetical job salaries in a linear order by episode number. And over the course of 597 episodes, so from 1989 to 2016, it's clear that he hasn't really ascended economically. Despite a few successes here and there, he has stagnated. And that makes him just like the actual American middle class. Until the 1970s, the income of the average American family grew just alongside the national economic productivity. Since then, wages have stagnated and have failed to keep up with inflation. Economists have referred to this as the middle class squeeze. You see, Homer's median income has actually never surpassed the median income in the United States. Despite brief forays into the 1%, Homer remains a paradigm of middle-class America. Three decades later, he's right where he started. 